The flag is flying at half-mast at City Hall. Deputy Mayor Pam McConnell has died. The passionate and tireless councillor called City Hall her other home for the past 23 years. An advocate for school ju social justice and a feisty member of council, McConnell passed away today. The 71-year-old had been hospitalized because of an ongoing health condition. CTV's Paul Bliss is live at City Hall for us now. Uh, Paul, she was elected to council in 1994, but Pam McConnell served the public even before that. Absolutely, as a school board trustee for 12 years before that. So her public service record is uh, quite exceptional. She's considered a city builder. And although the news of her death came down just a few hours ago, people have been lined up to sign the book of condolences set up here in the rotunda at City Hall. But as we say, most of the councillors, her colleagues and her friends were shocked uh, that she passed away. Grief-stricken councillors huddled in the mayor's office, consoling each other after hearing of the death of Deputy Mayor Pam McConnell. She's one of the hardest working people I've ever known. I found a t-shirt in her cubby hole today that said, end poverty, and I put it on her desk, and that was Pam. The veteran politician represented Toronto Centre Rosedale for 23 years. The mayor shared the news with the public in the middle of the council meeting. It is with great sadness that I learned this afternoon, as we all have, of the death of Deputy Mayor Pam McConnell. Pam was a friend uh, to all of us. In a rare gesture of unity, councillors voted to conclude the meeting early in order to reflect and mourn. And uh, observe a moment of silence for our our wonderful, wonderful friend and public servant, Deputy Mayor Pam McConnell. The flags of City Hall were quickly lowered and a book of condolences set up in the rotunda. McConnell was receiving visitors in hospital as recently as last night. She was suffering from a lung ailment. The councillors who went to see her last evening say she was speaking to them through an oxygen bubble. In Toronto, there's a big hole in uh, Toronto's uh, political landscape but today. And that hole is uh, Pam McConnell. May she rest in peace. Known as a fighter and a social justice warrior, McConnell was once bowled over by former Mayor Rob Ford at a raucous council meeting in 2013. In her ward, residents say the city will feel the loss. She was trying to help the people, right? I was devastated when I heard that she had passed away. Her colleagues point out she was liked by politicians of all political stripes. Speaking on behalf of all of my colleagues, our hearts are simply broken today that she left so quickly. McConnell is survived by her husband Jim, their two daughters and grandchildren. Pam McConnell was 71. City Hall open until 9 o'clock tonight and through the weekend, so anyone who wants to sign the book of condolences can come down. Also tonight, the Toronto sign is going to be dimmed out of respect for Pam McConnell. Reporting live, I'm Paul Bliss. Ken Zabrida, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Paul.